Trump is ultimately responsible because the WHO didn't stop him from doing more. Okay, then who stopped the states from doing more? So this is a thought that I had when I was looking at what people were saying, and it's just about where does the buck stop? Where does responsibility stop? In the United States of America, it's a republic system where they actually are supposed to work, where the states themselves are supposed to have um, most of the control over what happens within the states. The federal is supposed to be a backstop, the federal government. And this, I think they call it a federalist system and things like this, where Trump at least has given lip service of rolling back certain parts of the government. He's started rolling back some uh, regulations and things like that. He, I think he had an announcement saying he's going to cancel a bunch of regulations right now that we're reopening uh, the United States of America is being reopened by the people there. And maybe the rest of the world might copy some of these things because the United States of America still leads people in things. But when it came to the actual shutdowns and the things that were, they were saying were happening negatively and they were saying Trump did this, Trump should have done this ahead of time, he should have stopped this ahead of time, he should have done these kind of testing, he should have initiated this, he should have used the, the Defense Production Act and this and that and this and that and this and the other, he should have ordered this, he should have made sure there were stocks of these things. But when I say this, I ask, if it wasn't the WHO who's supposed to be responsible for informing the entire world, and he was doing certain things before the WHO suggested that thing, and then some other things you might have said came after. First of all, what other countries are you comparing to? Do you think there's other countries that did it correctly, that did things in the actual time? And we don't know what actually happened. We can only give, like, hypotheses. We can only theorize. If he did this before, this would have happened, and they talk about these things. But those things can be knocked back to uh, the WHO as well. If the WHO had come out more vociferously and saying, oh, we need to have a global shutdown, then this and this could have happened. But then if they did that, who was responsible for actually having those shutdowns? Now, in the United States of America, with that federalist system, what sort of information do you think Donald Trump has is privy to that people in the states are not, that the actual governors and people, the mayors of cities and things like that are not aware of. If they're all aware of what the WHO was saying, so you're saying the WHO never said anything wrong, they were completely on the right in their actual reporting, but with that information, Trump did not act appropriately. Was there things from that information that the different governors and mayors could have reacted on and then Trump would have come in and said, you're not allowed to shut down. You're not allowed to order PPE. You're not allowed to add more funding to this thing. You're not allowed to prepare this. You're not allowed to start building up like your resources for actually fighting this virus. Do they have no responsibility to actually their people, to the people they're supposed to lead and govern? Or is this just, are you just putting this on Trump? So where does that actually stop? And now there's a secondary thing happening with something like some, some doctors, some reports have come out saying that some doctors have seen more suicides in this last month than they normally get in a year. And now with this one, this is starting to make the rounds. Who gets who gets blamed for this? Will we now go and say, oh, Trump shut down too early? He should have let this go. He should have let people be open. He should let people go out to work so these people don't commit suicide. Or are you going to put the suicides directly on the people themselves and say, oh, those are the people. They should have done better in life. They should have been more secure. Or maybe you're going to put it to the actual states and say, like, okay, maybe if you were shutting down certain things and we we're choosing what's essential and what's non-essential, maybe we should have given some kind of some kind of idea, some kind of knowledge to deal with the people who are actually in danger and say, these people who are actually relying on certain services that aid with their mental health, we should make sure these things are also stopped. These things are also actually made this actual dispensation made so these people can meet or for some of them for some people it's literally just working literally just being out there in a job is actually effective unfortunately i talked to some friends and they're telling me about how like some kids i have my objections with the compulsory schooling system but some kids go to school and prefer even the the, the low quality schools that they go to because that gets them out of an abusive environment at home, a neglective environment. At least they have some other people to talk to and who seem to care just something, there's some attention being given out there. And for some people that carries on to adulthood, to their older ages, where for them just being out, I know a lot of people are not comfortable and not happy with their jobs, but for some people just being out there and having another thing to do in their life gives them some sense of purpose. And when you take that away, 
that takes them back into a very negative place. Now, I do think this is unfortunate that this props up in this. It shows that there are issues in society where these people should be helped, where you shouldn't have to completely rely on something like that, where I know there's some cases where it's, I got to pay, I, got, I just have bills to pay, I, I got to have shelter, I got to have home, I have kids, I have to feed them, like, these things, these concerns that, that go outside of it, but there's some people who just simply, when they're in their own mind, it's, it's not a positive thing. I have a separate thought on that, but anyway, this is part of my shorty series, I just wanted to talk about this thing, who stopped the actual states? If you're saying Trump should have acted on things anyway, despite what the WHO was saying, or the WHO was saying the correct things and Trump didn't act, then if the WHO was saying the correct things and other people were actually hearing, were actually privy to that information, then why didn't they act on their own? And if they, if you have evidence of them acting and then Trump coming in and stopping them or something like that, let me know. Or if you think Trump had access to information that nobody else knew, then First of all, that's 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 just a question mark. I, I do think he knows certain things, but, but what makes you think if the governors and mayors also had access to that information, they would not have agreed with what Trump did? What makes you think they would have acted any differently off of that since this is information that we technically do not know at the moment? We might know some of this information. Things are probably going to get um, declassified sometime later on down the line or just they might find like, okay, now we can tell the people what was going on behind the scenes. I don't know. So there are all these things to consider. It's part of my shorty series where I expand on short thoughts. Hopefully engage you. Let me know what you think in the comment section. There's also links below to a merchandise store where I post different merch if you want to help out the channel, help me out. Uh, there's also liking, sharing, and subscribing. Till next time, goodbye.